How are you? Peter's here. So, okay. Just got back from a nice walk at Seal Rock. Uh, just let Frida run around for a few minutes. And I am back sitting in my Nagasaki of a van. Everything is taken apart. Everything is everywhere. I don't have a bed. But I have the rest of the day to figure out how to put the van back together, which is my main goal. I just gotta get like some semblance of a van together and then, uh, you know, really spend a day thinking about how I would now that I have, I mean, the door is jammed shut. Like, I, that's, I haven't even bothered with it. So I'm gonna just not worry about it for now and spend some time figuring out what my new setup in this van is gonna be like. Um, I'm pretty sure, like the bed really worked back there. I did like it, but it was a little too short. Like I could fit across it, okay. Um, but there were a lot of times where I just didn't have enough room. My like feet were touching the window and stuff. So that bed, it worked okay. And it especially worked okay when I was like on a tilt. Because you could only tilt, you know, I could, if my head was tilting downwards, I could just switch sides. But it is such a gigantic pain in the butt to climb in and out through the front doors. Like, I would really love to have a spot back here where I could just pop out the back. But that gate worked really well. Like, I, it was nice to have it open. That all worked well. Um... I need more space around the toilet because you do a lot of stuff around the toilet. You visit that a bunch of times a day. Laundry, I touch once in the morning and then I put it away. Like I switched those two. Like I put, I gave myself way too much access to my laundry and not enough toilet access. Like I will not be storing that under the bed. Like that, it's just a pain in the ass to drag it out every single time I need to use it. So that's gonna get its own space. Like this whole space is just gonna be dedicated to the toilet and the bed, like and the kitchen, obviously. The kitchen, I, I didn't do it, I did no cooking. Can you see that right there? That's my uh, cooktop that I, propane cooktop. Like there's a jar of propane rolling around in this tank, so, in this car somewhere. Oh my God, I gotta find it. It's up there. But yeah, I didn't cook at all. I haven't cooked once. I haven't cooked once. So, I just, I did, I just, some things worked, most things, like 90% of my build was crap. <laughs> but, that's just, you just, how could you, you can watch every YouTube video on planet Earth and still get it all wrong. Until you actually figure out, you know, what kind of, you and just having the stuff out of here, like another huge thing, is I absolutely cannot stand everything falling off, everything when I drive this van. Like everything falls that's not nailed down. Um, that was awful having stuff move around. So like, I don't want, <laughs> she's climbing the bed mountain. What is going on in here right now? I know, it's crazy. <laughs> um, oh, I hate, it, I hate having stuff fall over. So like, nothing is gonna be above really the windows. Like I'll probably do like a long thing of storage so I got really different ideas about how to set this up. So I think I, yeah, I think I want to have the bed where I'm sitting now and a little kitchen space. So, cause I don't like having the bed. Um, you got to move the blankets all day out of the way because this one, like my life is sand now. It's, I don't like having beach sand on my bed. Like, you know there's bugs in that sand. Like, you know there's bugs in the sand. And, like, she'll run right from the beach, like, eating crustaceans and stuff. And, like, grabbing things out of the ocean and whatever. And run through the mud and then she'll jump right on my bed. And just roll around all over my blankets. Um, so I need a stash place for my blankets during the day. So that, you know, when she does get out of the bed. Because she needs the space to be. Like, it's okay for her to be on the bed, but dancing around on my blankets when she's covered in filth is just, ew. 
So I need a stash place for my blankets, which I didn't have. So yeah, I got I got lots of lots of ideas, tons of ideas. So I'm gonna spend a little time in here today, and then uh, zip over to the shop and continue on. And she's ripping that up. This is what it's like to have an animal with you, Frida. Frida, what are you doing? That's what she does, guys. She wipes her crustacean-eaten, sandy face on my blankets. <sighs> and by the way, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but this whole thing is crazy, but I have seen quite a few cats on leashes on my travels in the last few weeks. So I would really like to get a cat for her especially so that she doesn't have to annoy me 24 hours a day. Um, I really want a van cat to put on a little leash and walk them together on the beach. So I'm probably going to get a cat. So, but uh, So I'll be keeping the cat in mind when I'm uh, putting my van together because I'll certainly need a litter box space. And since, you know, it's really handy to have cat litter in your van because uh, I only do number ones it in that toilet <laughs> like this is primitive living real primitive like no joke this this is this life is not for the faint of heart man it's fun though i like i'm enjoying it i really am enjoying van life i really am enjoying it i'm excited to see if this van will hold up Flipping door. I gotta deal with that. Anyway, Frida. Alright. I'm gonna get to uh, putting this van back together. See ya.